Lexi here, and today I'm going to show you how you can grow your own Traptinium at home. Here's what you'll need. A mason jar or any glass cup. Measuring spoons. You'll also need a measuring cup and a pot to boil water. And aluminum sulfate, also known as alum. We found it on Amazon for under $10. But it can be found in some grocery stores too. It's a very safe type of ingredient. Fill the measuring cup with one cup of water and bring that to a boil. Make sure you have your pan's help before you operate an oven. Cause it hot, hot, hot! Next, pour one tablespoon of alum in the glass cup. Now we wait for the boil. When the hot water's ready, pour it into a half cup measuring spoon. Remember, Parental supervision. My dad was watching me. My mom was watching me too. And even Mike was the backup. Then pour that into the glass of alum and start stirring immediately. Once all the alum dissolves, add a little bit at a time until the water is slightly cloudy and won't dissolve anymore. Next, you need to cover it so no dust gets in. Make sure no one touches it for 24 hours. You guys, no touch this. The next day, you'll need a string and a pencil. Now we have three cups. We made a second and added blue food coloring. And then you'll need two empty glasses as well. Carefully pour the mix into the empty cup. You'll be left with lots of crystals on the bottom. Scoop them out to find the biggest and the best one. And you'll use that to start growing your large crystal. Then put the old glass in the sink. You don't need it anymore. Once you have your seed crystal, tie the crystal to the end of the string. Then tie the other end of the string to the pencil. Then put the pencil and the crystal into the new glass cup. Make sure it's a perfect height when you drop the crystal in. The crystal shouldn't touch the bottom or the side. And if you have a baby brother trying to help you, but you don't want him to mess up what you're doing, but just give him some of the extra crystals, pretend he's helping. Now we have crystals in three jars. Yes, we made one more mix. Cover them all and don't touch. From one to seven days, as your crystals grow, extra crystals may grow on the bottom of the cups again. If this happens, empty the mix into a new cup and discard the other cup. If you leave those crystals in, the one crystal won't grow as large. Okay guys, it's been one week and let's see how these crystals are. Let's start with the first cup. Whoa, look at it. Now I got some scissors and I'm gonna cut it from the string and we're gonna dry it off. It looks like ice. Now let's do the blue mix. Whoa. Yeah, if you see right here, the top got a little darker than this, but you can tell the difference. You might wanna use your scissors to clean up any extra strings. Now let's try our third cup. Look how big it is. Whoa, Geronimo! The way we got this one so big is we tied lots of crystals to it. Look at the size difference. Take a look at the crystals. fail. Oh my gosh, what is this? We try to see if we can cover Skyliner in crystals, but as you can tell, it didn't work. Let's see what happened. Let's check it out. Crystal Mini Genie or Moldy Genie? Thumbs up for the idea, even though it didn't work. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Till next time, peace out.